thank you so much uh, <clears> to <throat> master uh, medhat i was about to say uh, dtm medhat because i reckon you will soon be a dtm okay aaj i will be happy i just use the word of the day All right so i am the table topic master and uh, i am someone uh, who will drag you on a stage tonight and force you to speak because uh, when the president of the club was asking everybody what is the reason you are here we all said just one thing we want to improve our communication skills right or no yes or no i believe everybody so first thing if you are in a position to turn on the camera please do so you are the most handsome and beautiful gentlemen and ladies tonight yes uh shabash i would say rajesh all right so as the table topic master i will give you a topic on that you have to speak minimum a minute and maximum you can speak for 2 minutes and 30 seconds and this is the time where you are going to check yourself how confident you are on a stage on this virtual stage not yet the physical stage and uh, that will give you an opportunity that you are going to enroll yourself because if not now then when there is no a time perfect for you better than this time because if you are here there is only one reason that you want to improve your communication skills right so i am going to conduct the session but before doing so and let me tell you this is pretty much dedicated to the guest because they are the ones who are here for the first time or the second time and they are the ones who want to learn the art of communication skills so we will give you opportunity that you check yourself and come forward we all are here to help you assist you and take you to the level that you want to reach but before doing so i would give you a demonstration by any senior member that will show you how to tackle the questions and for that i would i can't see anyone better than uh, our past past division director uh, dtm rupesh tanna if uh, is there yes he's smiling as always so i will ask you sir to come on a stage and uh, i'll share my screen with you so that you can see the topics that i have selected for this session uh where is it so let me know if you can see the screen now i can't hear you yes yes yes, yes. all right so i will start and uh, i'm going to spin the wheel and you will speak about the topic that comes first are you ready yes all right so let's spin it All right, sir. So, uh, DTM Rupesh Tanna, who do you sometimes compare yourself to? Who do you sometimes compare yourself to, DTM Rupesh Tanna? The stage is yours. Good evening, DTM Hasan Javed and all the guests. I was reckoning that I will be the first person who will get this golden opportunity. attempt the first table topic of the evening and the topic which you provided is also very close to my heart sometimes i keep thinking about it that that who who i resemble to whom i resemble and sometimes i think i am living a legacy or living a life similar to what my father lived and sometimes i also think that his his elder brother also so whenever i i i compare myself i think i am more uh, closer to my father who lived a very joy, jo, jovial life and uh, i try to follow the path which he has shown to me and my brother as well that there were many instances uh, which at, at a young age he was like a mentor he, he used to tell us that 
child children do in, in life you will have so and so circumstances so in those circumstances you need to act in certain way and in and those things when i am facing in my present life i remember his advice and i i i, I tell you his four sidedness that the kind of values he instilled in us so definitely dtm asan i would uh, compare i compare myself to my father thank you thank you for the talk all right thank you so much so you did it and i hope that all the guests have seen it so guest are you ready now say yes if not now then when yes a uh, yes raj uh, who said yes mr rajesh oh yes so let me share again my screen and uh, i'll spin the wheel for you as well so can you see the screen now Mr. Rajesh Yes 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 again right. Okay 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 all right so The question is and the topic is what does life mean to you what does life mean to you Mr. Rajesh the stage is yours Yes uh good evening everyone so what life means to me is just simple so all this question comes to us uh, all the time some days we are so moody and we always used to think this one mostly you know all the people would have come through this situation where they thought of this word but for me the life is just simple so what make it complicated is that we are connected to a lot of people and uh, you know how much we are connected to a lot of people that much uh, struggling will our uh, struggling will be our life so better uh, yes uh, we need to be attached we need to be committed we need to be socially committed as well but uh, make sure that we are connected to right persons uh, the selections what we make makes our life so simple and easier so the selection is very important and uh, as our previous uh, speaker said about the father so everyone's ideal person will be the father so for me also he uh, that inspired me because uh, for me also my ideal person is my father so i'm just following him so he is very ideal person he is very simple and he always used to say life is very simple you have to choose your way the way you can choose both the ways whether hard or simple but it uh, depends on the people who we are attached with uh, and uh, you know what all the experience what you have we need to learn from that you know never take a risk uh, first we are going through the wrong way maybe the next time we uh, our our mind is always like choosing the wrong way but don't go for that make the decision proper decision go through the proper way learn from your experience and make the life easier and life is just easy just uh, learn from the experience and uh, make a good uh, life just smile that itself make uh, solve a lot of problems so i reckon uh, this thing to everyone so uh, be happy just smile that will make life wonderful and simpler that's it thank you right thank you very much life is easy keep smiling we all reckon that you're already a great speaker and that could be your ice break speech as well once you become the thank member you. so now i go to the next uh, guest i see on my screen and uh, i would request uh, mr ab saleh are you there yes brother i'm here all right brother so i'll share again my screen with you and let me spin the wheel for you as well all right mr avisare the topic for you is do you have freedom do you have freedom mr avisare the stage is yours now uh well first good evening everybody and thanks for giving me this opportunity maybe it won't be a very fair speech because at the same time um busy in other task like driving but i will do my best uh can you repeat the question again brother yeah i'm not supposed to but i would uh because you are driving uh, all right do you have freedom okay so it's it's kind of a personal question but i will speak in general about my about myself and uh uh like 
like uh, let, let, let me say whatever it's, uh, it's come to my mind uh, yes I know in a sense of I would like to be uh, to have more freedom I'm, uh, I'm doing uh, a mentorship especially for this task like I would like to have more freedom because I think uh, the way we, we do our education system is to work for someone else, which actually uh, not totally free because your time or your, your time and effort is, is going to somebody else. And that's what I'm trying to, to do now, to be my, my own boss and uh, to take it, uh, take my free time to, to, to do my, my passion, to take care of my family. So, that is uh, that is one of one of uh, one of my uh, biggest biggest goal right now to be free uh, free financially free in the sense of I have more time during my day to do some other important tasks uh, like a personal goals and, and stuff. I apologize again if the speech wasn't really uh, going as well. So so good, but uh, hopefully. Uh, once I become a member, I, I will be more, more arranged and uh, more uh, organized. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, brother Mabrook. Uh, your speech is and was the best speech you did today because you showed your commitment while you're driving. Though it is dangerous, I would not recommend it, but maybe you are driving at, safe, at a safe place. So keep driving, keep attending the meeting, and we all love freedom in our life in many ways. So thank you so much for attempting this tough question, brother. And now I don't see any guest on the screen, but I do value my uh, our members who have least chance to speak. And for that, I would go to our uh, one of the best members, uh, Toastmaster Archer. Are you ready for the topic? If your internet is stable. Uh, Is it me? Yeah, that's you. Okay. That means your yeah, internet yeah. is not stable. Yes, okay, uh, we're ready. All yeah. right, so I'll share again my screen with you and uh, spin the wheel. All right, so here we go, Toastmaster Archer. Where do you find inspiration? Where do you find inspiration, Toastmaster Archer? stage is yours. Thank you Toastmaster Javid. Um, I find inspiration in women who have established themselves in the technical field uh, because there are very few women in those fields. So people who have, uh, the, the women who have established themselves in management field or technical field uh, because it requires a lot of uh, talent and also a lot of hard work, extra hard work, I would say, in order to reach those levels. So I find uh, like uh, women like Indra Nui, uh, like in India, there is a, a DRDO chief, she's a woman called um, Casey Thomas. So they, uh, them, I find very inspiring. And I try to read the books that they read um, and keep updated on, uh, what they have uh, uh, read and uh, what is their inspiration or what uh, kind of work they do in their day-to-day -day lives to have reached where they have uh, where they are right now so them i find very inspiring and also i love my mother and uh, i find her inspiring too she's a very strong lady uh, like we are two girls so like she has never uh, she has given both me and my sister uh, everything she could in everything she could in our uh, capacity to give us the best of everything so i find her also very inspiring and she brought us uh, my father used to work in Abdhabi. so like uh, she used she only brought me uh, brought uh, brought us both up and uh, without an, any uh, male support. So uh, I, I don't know if I could uh, do that with two daughters uh, uh, living alone in India and bringing them up. So I find my mother also very inspiring. Thank you and over to you, Tiamoni. Uh, sorry, 
Uh, All right, I am doing the half time. job. Yes, it's fine. Uh, TMOD, I was once TMOD too. All right, so I can't leave one member that I see. She is also a silent, um, a silent role player in this meeting. And if the timer allow me just to call her on a stage. Right. Uh, who is the timer? I see two people, uh, DJ Ibrahim or yes, Mr. Lisa. All right, so go ahead. And I would request uh, Toastmaster Malik to take the next topic. All right, because you are the remaining silent for tonight. And I'll go to the screen. All right. We go quick. Right, Toastmaster Malak, the topic for you is if not now, then when? If not now, then when? Toastmaster Malak. Uh, thank you so much. Um, if not now, when? That is a perfect kind of sentence to explain the last month. Um, before opening my beauty school, I was meeting regularly with business coaches, including Muhammad Dahim, and I've always been a really big procrastinator. So I've dreamed big dreams for a very long time, but I think the fear of how big they are kind of stopped me even taking action so I just kept them as a dream for over 20 years and it wasn't until I met Muhammad and he gracefully forced me to start working on my dreams that this sentence or this kind of statement um, replays itself in my mind every day so Every day when I think of something that I should be doing, I always ask myself, well, what, are you gonna do it tomorrow? Now, in the future, like you have to do it now because tomorrow is not promised and neither is the future. So it's not now when. So yeah, it's. I think it's a good rule to apply and a good analogy of life because you never know when your time is up actually so life is very temporary so yeah it's not now when guys all right thank you so much to smash malek if not now then when uh, it's not just the voice of table uh, toastmaster malek but it is the voice of all of us and the request to all of us especially those who are for the first time here, if not now, then when you're going to be a public speaker. So today, 18th June 2022 is the best time for you right now after this meeting. All right, so that's all from my end. I've been, uh, it's been a pleasure for me to be the Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, all the speakers who came forward, tackled the questions, and they did their best. So keep doing that. Good night. The stage is back to the Toastmaster of the day. <laughs>